All right, lesson one, adding integers with the same sign. All right, so we're going to start with this idea of integers. Integers are the positive and negative whole numbers. And orange counters will count as positive one, and red counters will count as negative one. And we have this super simple idea of 3 plus 4. We know 3 plus 4 equals 7, but if we have, if we model that, 3 positives, uh, 1, 2, 3, and 4 other positives, how many counters are there in total? The total number is 7. Yeah, so easy. So what is the sum and how do you find it? Well, the sum is 7, and you add all the positive counters. Really easy. And then we have this, uh, okay, stepping it up a little bit, negative 5 plus negative 3. Okay, well, we have the 5 negative counters, and we have 3 more negative counters. And the total number of counters, well, that's going to be 8. 8 total counters. And uh, since the counters are all negative, that sum is negative 8. So negative 5 plus negative 3 is negative 8. And by the way, we have parentheses here. And you might be used to parentheses in the order of operations, or PEMDAS, and you might be thinking, wow, i got to do something here. But the parentheses in this case really just separate the operation of addition from the sign of the number. Uh, so that's why we have parentheses, to separate operation and sign. So when adding two numbers with the same sign, what sign do you use for the sum? We'll use the same sign as the add-ins. So up here, the add-ins are 3 and 4. So we use the same sign for our sum. And here the add-ins are negative 5 and negative 3. So our sum is negative 8. So we use the same sign as the add-ins. OK. Next, we have a temperature gauge. And the temperature was 2 degrees Fahrenheit below 0. The temperature drops by 5 degrees. What's the temperature now? What's the initial temperature? That's the beginning temperature. And it was negative 2 degrees. I get that from right here. And mark the initial temperature on the number line. Well, that initial or beginning temperature is right here. A drop in 5 degrees is like adding negative 5 to the temperature. So we see that this is... Uh, 2 then 4 so that means we have negative 3 in between and negative 5 in between that and negative 7 in between that so we drop down 5 and that brings us down to negative 7 so what's the temperature written as an integer negative 7 and the temperature is uh, 7 degrees below 0 Okay, so what if the temperature is 1 degree Fahrenheit and drops by 3 degrees? Well, if we have right here, if it's 1 degree, that is right here, and it drops 3 degrees, that would be 1, 2, 3 degrees it drops. We are right there at negative 4. So we start at, and so what? explain how you would do this. You would start at negative 1. I started at negative 1. And you move 3 units in the negative direction, which is, in this case, downward, to negative 4. And the new temperature is negative 4 degrees Fahrenheit. OK. So how would using a number line to find the sum of 2 plus 5 be different uh, from using a number line to find the sum of negative 2 plus negative 5? Well, instead of starting at 2 and moving 5 units to the right, which is what we do for this one, we would start at negative 2 for here and move 5 units to the left because we're adding a negative. So you'd move that way. And what are two other positive integers that have a sum of negative 2, uh, that have the same sum as negative 2 and negative 5? Well, negative 2 and negative 5 add to negative 7. So we just need two other numbers that had to get me 7, and that would be, well, one example is negative 3 and negative 4. I could also say uh, negative 1 and negative 6, any two numbers that add to get me 7. Next, what we have is the big idea here, uh, with trying without counters and such, 
we will add negative 7 and negative 6. So we could just take the absolute value of each of these numbers and then throw the sign on at the end. So find the absolute values. And remember, absolute value is always that positive or uh, it is always that distance to zero. So the distance from negative seven to zero is seven, and the distance from negative six to zero is six. So if we take each of these absolute values, we would see that seven and six is 13. So there we go. That's part of our answer. But we have to make sure that we tack on that same sign. So negative seven, negative six is negative 13. So does the commutative property, not commutative, commutative property of addition apply when you add two negative integers? And if you remember, the commutative property is the case where if you have 2 plus 3, that's equal to 3 plus 2. It's saying that the order in which you add, or well, add, the order in which you add does not change the result. And so... Yeah, it doesn't matter it, in the order in which you add negative 7 negative 6 is the same thing as negative 6 plus negative 7. You still get the same answer. Choose any two negative integers and is the sum of the integers less than or greater than the value of the integers? So I'll pick two integers. I chose negative 1 and negative 2. And the question is, if I add these together, if I have negative 1 and I add to that negative 2, I have to move to the left on the number line two spaces I arrive at negative three so that answer is negative three so the answer uh, so the question is is this number bigger than or less than either of these two numbers and the answer is well that is certainly smaller than either of those and so it's less than and yeah if you add two negative uh, integers you move in the negative direction, which is what I did there. And the sum will always be less than either of the two integers that you're adding. All right, so that is all I have for you. And now you know everything you need to know about adding integers with the same sign.